Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for coming back for another motivational cleaning video. In today's video, I have a lot of cleaning to do. We've had a lot going on here the past couple of weeks and I really need to get my house back under control. I started with my usual kitchen cleaning routine, then decided to do some organizing of the cabinets. On day two, I started in the living room with moving the couches, cleaning under the entertainment center. Then I got started on the worst part of the house, the entryway. And then I also deep cleaned the guest bathroom and of course vacuumed and mopped all areas at the end. If you enjoy motivational cleaning videos like this, be sure to subscribe to my channel so you won't miss any of my future uploads. And now with all that said, let's get started. Unfortunately, my pink gloves are so out of stock and size small for so long now, so I had to buy the black ones. As I was recording this voiceover, I stopped to check the website and they're still out of stock. I'm going to clean the side of the countertop with my vinegar mix like I always do and then offload the dishwasher then load it back up with a few dishes in the sink and then start it later on tonight after dinner. Scrub the sink and then get started on wiping off the counters. Like I mentioned in the beginning of the video, we've had a lot going on. I took a vacation or two. We had Sultan's birthday party and then back to school was right around the corner. I've done some light cleaning here and there, kept up with dishes, but I haven't done a good deep clean in a while. On this day, we were actually waiting for our test results back because the kid's dad tested positive and we were all in close contact with him for the first couple of days, which also prompted me to start cleaning because I was a little bit anxious.
Oh my gosh, the pain. This happened to me so many times while cleaning. I haven't got my nails done in over a month because I just haven't had time. So they're really grown out. I'm not used to having my nails this long, so I always end up breaking them, either opening my car door or cleaning. Once I got done cleaning behind the air fryer, I cleaned the other side of the countertops and backsplash off camera. I cleaned out the toaster and then back to the glass top. I tried a TikTok hack that I saw the other day. You guys have seen me use this Wayman glass top cleaner and this little razor before, but I usually do it when it's wet. I don't let it sit and harden, so I'm going to try that today. And then in the meantime, I'm just going to do some organizing in the cabinets.
Wanna shake the ground, wanna break away, let loose. I'm tired of waiting, gotta make that move. All the neon signs, now they shout to me and you to write a story. Wanna shape the new. Now the product has completely dried down, I'm going to start scraping. This is really satisfying, but I did still have to pay extra attention to the dried grease as I would if I used it wet. So I don't know. It was easier to clean up after because all the product is pushed up and I can just pick it up and wipe whatever's left. So that's a plus. I might keep doing this. Now I'm going to clean the lower cabinet tree. I noticed some marks on it that you can't see from far away.
I'm collecting magnets everywhere I travel from now on, just like my mom did when I was little. I went to California with my niece last month, and we also went to Utah and did a lot of hiking. That vlog will be up next week, hopefully. I have a lot of footage from that trip, but it definitely was an adventure. Now I'm cleaning the dining table, then I'll move on to the back patio to pick up some trash that was left out there after Sultan's birthday party. You guys, my orchid died out of nowhere. I was so sad. It was doing fine one day and then it just started dying. I'm impressed that I was even able to keep it alive for that long, but oh, I do have a little baby yucca plant that I've kept alive for a few months now. It's on the back patio because I read that yuccas thrive best in sunlight and in warm temperatures. I think it looks cute out there too. And down the words to say it is time i've been waiting five days to explain how you make me feel inside baby got it all figured out wanna do this right there's a doubt in my mind baby you're the one and tonight i am going all the way mm, the way you touch my hand Day two, it's time to clean up the living room. This is where the kids spend most of their time playing, making forts, relaxing. The inside of the couch wasn't bad, I just swept it because I couldn't find the couch attachment for my vacuum. Under the couch also wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. Trying to do is say I love you Ooh. 
While vacuuming, my shark just shut off, so I tried to clear it out, but it wouldn't turn on. The light would just come on, but no suction. This is a fairly new vacuum. I've always had bad luck with vacuums, though. So I got my Dyson, and that fell too soon after. I did a lot of sweeping after this, but it's just not the same because things get caught in the grout. Thankfully, the last day filming, my shark started working again. I'm dusting the decor on the entertainment center, then wiping the fingerprints off the TV. I felt something on top so I looked up there and it was just some playing cards that I bought a while back. Almost broke something on the way down. Definitely won't be wearing socks after this while cleaning. <laughs>
Now I'm just fixing up the couch before I move into the entryway to sort through all of that. It's mostly recycling, unopened packages, leftover school supplies, newly purchased school clothes for the kids, and toys, shoes, book bags, just a bunch of stuff. In the kitchen, I'm putting together some more of my vinegar mix. I'm showing you how I make it because I still get a lot of questions about this. I'm using a 16 ounce glass bottle, adding two parts vinegar and one part water, 20 to 40 drops of lavender and peppermint essential oils, and that's it. I always do a test to make sure the scent is to where I like it. It smells a little like vinegar at first, but that smell goes away soon after and it'll just smell like the um, fresh scent of the essential oils. This is still my favorite and most used multi-surface cleaner. Before heading back to the entryway, I purchased this pill organizer from Amazon. What I like about it is you can remove the individual containers for like on the go and there's a section for nighttime supplements. I know this looks like a lot of supplements, but this is what works for me.
You think that I should calm down Finally taking down the rest of the party decorations for the last thing I did on this day and tomorrow I'm vacuuming all the floors then lastly mopping Now on day three, my shark came back to life, so I'm doing a quick vacuum of the floors. Even though I swept, I just want the floors to be really clean. After this, I'm going to spot clean a few areas on the floor that'll be hard for my steam mop to get up. Also scrape the Play-Doh out of the grouts. I have a love-hate relationship with Play-Doh. The little ones love it, but it's so messy.
Amir really thought he was gonna get away with that huge bowl of goldfish. Good thing I caught that. That was the last thing I needed, like right at the end of all my cleaning. And that is it for this video. If you enjoyed it, leave it a thumbs up and I'll make more like this. As always, thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you all in my next video.